Hello everyone and welcome back to day 129 of Stardew Valley. Um, no, nothing on the television. Okay, cool. Hey, hey. Today was a pretty good day. Because it has been raining for two days and today finally, finally the sun started shining again. And it was just like, it felt so good to for me at least to be able to stand in the sun even though it was only for a few uh, minutes i guess while i was waiting for the train to arrive uh, when i went home from school but it was just like ah uh, it felt so so good to just feel a bit of sun on my skin after two full days of rain because like just going to school and arriving there while it's still kind of dark outside and it's still cloudy and not completely bright and everything it's just it it really doesn't do it for me it just demotivates me to do anything really and it's just like mm, it makes me want to go back to sleep back home and everything and Hmm, no thank you. But yeah, today the sun started shining again and I'm just very grateful that it did shine today because if I am to believe the weather forecast then it will be raining until like next Wednesday. I think that's the next time when it will finally be um, not raining, I guess, when the sun will be shining, yeah. So, uh, I am going to be, I'm going to try and prepare for one week of nothing but rain and I am just so, so not looking forward to that. Like, uh, man, it just really makes me want to do nothing, just nothing at all. I don't know, I just, I need my son. Like... Uh, it's it's really the, the time of the year when the days get shorter and I get less sunlight. Everyone gets less sunlight, really. I think, except if you're on the um, lower parts of the world, I guess, because the whole sun and seasons thing is uh, swapped around, I guess. But that's not the point. Like. I, I really do get um, bummed out by a lack of sun, but it's more in a way of that I get demotivated and that I get a feeling of, uh, uh, I, I don't know if I can do this, then that it's really, you know, uh, a winter de depression, I guess. But still, it, it sucks, it's annoying, but I'll, I'll pull through. I mean, I, I, I think I will. For now I'm still feeling alright. I mean, right now I'm in a place where I'm like, okay, I can do this. This is going to be hard, but I, I do know that I can do some stuff and I'll just figure out the stuff that I'm not entirely certain about yet. Because, hmm. Hell yeah, I'm going to do stuff, I'm going to learn new things, and I am going to be a better person than I was yesterday, and nobody is going to be able to stop me from doing that. And that's just what it's going to be like, I guess. I mean, mostly I just, I, I want to get better at stuff, because as I think I've said before, I... Sometimes I kind of feel like I've missed my window for, you know, just learning stuff and doing cool things, I guess, or making cool things. But I, I also think that I might still be able to catch up if I just work hard. And, you know, working too hard obviously won't work because... Right now I can already feel my wrists starting to hurt, so 
I try to find the balance between working hard and writing reports and just, you know, letting my wrists rest. But I, I really want to prove that I can do stuff. And not just to others, but also to myself. I, I want to show myself that I can finish stuff and that I can do stuff and that I don't need to be scared. And, you know, I, I, I'm not even sure what I'm scared of because I, I'm pretty introverted, but I am still not... Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm not entirely sure what it is exactly that I'm afraid of. Maybe maybe I'm just... I, I guess it's got something to do with being afraid to disappoint others. Just because I'm like, ah, I can do this. I, I really can't. Maybe I should just quit myself before I disappoint others by making something that's just bad. I think that's a big part of it, but right now I just really want to focus on actually making stuff and proving to myself that the stuff that I make isn't bad. And I, I, I do know that there is still stuff that I make that is not that great, or that could be better, just to say it a little bit nicer, but... You know, I I do want to become better, really. Not, not just when it comes to the skills that I have, because like I, I want to get better at flat art or 3D art and all that kind of stuff, but I, I also still want to become a nicer person. And you know, that that kind of stuff just takes time. Practicing takes time. You 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 don't become good at something just from one day to another day. I mean, the, the road to Rome wasn't built in one day. But yeah, I mean, even just getting up in the morning and psyching myself up to school, up to go to school is already a part of that, I guess, because even though I hate, hate, hate getting up at 7 in the morning, I I still just do it and I go to school and I am, you know, I haven't been that late yet, I guess. I, I did miss this a few times, but that was also because the bus driver was an asshole one time that just drove away while I was running just from the front of the bus side and you know I was waving I was waving and everything and it was raining pretty hard but he still didn't stop so I guess that's why I cried haha <laughs> but yeah I mean just just doing stuff already is a sign that I I really want to go for it I, I, I don't want to just tag along for the ride, I want to make stuff myself and I want to show both myself and others that I can make cool stuff as well. And I mean, getting up at least gets a little bit better if the song that plays on the radio when you are waking up is just a Christmas song because Twice this week already, I got woken up by a Christmas song. I think last Monday I got woken up by a Christmas song from Coldplay. I, I'm, I, I'm not entirely sure what the name is, but I do think that it was Coldplay. And today I got woken up by driving home for Christmas. And it's just pretty weird to already hear Christmas song on the radio right now, especially at 7 a.m. But you know, I I do kinda like it. 
It's it's cheerful. It's it's something different than hearing a pop song on the radio every morning and then just the same pop songs. And I I'm not saying that they are bad or anything, but it's just it's nice to hear something different from a change. For a change. I mean, you know, I actually like Christmas songs and I have already been listening to a Christmas playlist a few times just because I think the songs are just so cheerful and everything. And yeah, it's it's just it's pretty neat, I guess. I mean, it's not something that I expected to hear since before Christmas starts we also have Sinterklaas or Saint Nicholas, I guess in the Netherlands. Which is a similar holiday, I guess, and I think Santa Claus is also based off Saint Nicholas. But yeah, I guess this year is just Christmas year, and I guess that Saint Nicholas songs are also just less suited for radio broadcasts since it's just mainly children's songs and children that are singing so yeah i can understand okay let's give them some more hey okay well they should have right about enough for the upcoming few days or at least for three days i guess I mean, three days is not exceptionally long, but you know, why not? What what am I hearing? I I heard a hey, your stuff is done thing twice now. Huh. Okay, and then we have just one left. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Sorry for disturbing you guys, but I need to get some extra eggs in here. Hey, good night. Good night, my kiddos. Okay, let's sell it. Okay, done. Uh, the fridge. Hell yeah, time for the weather. Uh, oh, that's not the weather. Um, clear and sunny. Okay, nice. At least some place where it isn't raining. Alright, thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you had a nice day and yeah, good night.